The mirror of creation, the mirror and the first light. The mirror of creation. Imagine gazing into a mirror that does not merely reflect light. A mirror that stretches across the vast, silent corridors of time itself. A window opening onto the birth of the cosmos. A moment when the universe first stirred awake. When the first sparks of matter and energy began their delicate dance in the void. When darkness was not empty, but pregnant with possibility. This mirror is not fragile glass. It is radiant gold. Burnished, polished, sculpted with a precision that defies human understanding. Its surface perfectly curved to capture the most delicate whispers of the first dawn. Echoes from events that unfolded billions of years before life could ever emerge. Before Earth. Before the Sun. Before even the Milky Way had taken shape. When you look into it, you do not see yourself. Not your face. Not your home. Not your spinning, fragile planet. Not the familiar spiral of the Milky Way drifting silently through space. Instead, you gaze through a golden window. Into the infancy of the universe. A time when reality itself was still learning to exist. When matter hesitated, discovering its purpose. When energy found its role in the dance of creation. When the laws of physics were being written in the first fragile light. Each photon a word in the story of existence. Each glow a faint echo of creation's earliest thoughts. This is the mission of the James Webb Space Telescope. Not merely to look across vast distances. But to pierce the very fabric of time itself. To capture light that has traveled for billions of years. Across cold, silent voids. Unseen. Untouched. Carrying the secrets of the first stars. The first galaxies. The first seeds of planets. And perhaps even the first whispers of life. Every detail of Webb is deliberate. Its immense sun shield blocking the blinding heat of the sun. Its delicate golden mirrors bending and focusing light with microscopic precision. A machine designed to collect the invisible. To record the forgotten. To gather the faintest echoes of creation and turn them into a story. A story written not in words, but in light and shadow across billions of years. And when Webb finally turned its golden eye toward the infinite darkness, what it revealed was stranger than anyone had dared to imagine. It was not the calm, orderly cradle of creation that scientists predicted. Not a uniform fog of hydrogen and helium. Not a slow, gradual birth of stars drifting quietly into life. Instead, it revealed a cosmic enigma. A universe defying expectation. A secret written boldly across the heavens. Older than human thought. Older than imagination itself. For decades, astronomers believed the early universe was simple. The Big Bang. The long silent dark ages. The slow gathering of matter. The first flicker of stars. And only billions of years later, galaxies and planets. The expectation was clear. The further back we looked, the simpler the universe should appear. Chaos, yes. Faint hydrogen clouds. Scattered radiation. An empty canvas awaiting time's first brush strokes. But Webb shattered that belief entirely. When its mirrors focused on a seemingly empty patch of sky, it revealed the impossible. A fully formed galaxy. Alive. Structured. Breathtaking. Not a blur. Not a smear of light. But a spiral of stars moving in perfect harmony. Arms curling like ribbons of fire. Its core pulsing around a colossal black hole. A black hole that should not exist at such an early stage of time. This was no infant galaxy. 
It was mature. Complex. Alive. The cosmos had skipped billions of years of slow evolution. Rushing into order. Elegance. Beauty. As if creation itself had taken a deliberate step toward perfection. And this was only the beginning. For each new glimpse, more galaxies emerged from the primordial haze. Mature. Radiant. Structured. As if the universe had raced through time, arriving at complexity far earlier than any theory predicted. Webb's vision was more than a window into space. It was a portal into time. A telescope revealing the cosmos as it truly was, vibrant, intricate, alive, a universe humming with unseen patterns, a living, breathing entity stretching across eternity. The cosmic ballet did not stop with the first galaxy. Each new image deepened the mystery. Galaxies glowing through the primordial haze. Spirals wrapping elegantly around dense, luminous cores. Stars orbiting in perfect synchrony, as if choreographed by the universe itself. Patterns echoed the sacred geometries we see on Earth. From flowers to seashells. From hurricanes to rivers. A cosmic fractal stretching across space and time. A harmony connecting the infinitesimal and the infinite. Even supermassive black holes existed at the dawn of time. Billions of times the mass of our sun. Shaping galaxies before they should have been capable of forming. A reminder that creation does not always follow the rules we expect. The early cosmos, once believed to be chaotic and raw, revealed itself as astonishingly intricate, precise, and beautiful. Galaxies were not scattered randomly. They formed spirals, arms, and elegant ratios. A hidden order running through the universe. A cosmic melody written in light and motion. Between these ancient galaxies, Webb detected faint traces of organic molecules. Polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Chemical scaffolds for amino acids. Drifting freely through space since the first moments of creation. A whisper that perhaps life is not a cosmic accident. Perhaps it is woven into the fabric of the universe. Perhaps it has always been waiting for the right conditions to flourish. Then came the image astronomers called the flower. Six galaxies arranged like perfect petals around a luminous rotating core. Moving in eerie, synchronized harmony. No known natural process could account for such perfection. Not gravity. Not lensing. Not coincidence. Some whispered in awe. Could this be a message? A cosmic signature? Carved into the very fabric of space-time. Waiting for an observer to notice, to understand, to witness. And then came a more unsettling thought. What if observation itself changes the universe? Quantum mechanics teaches that measuring reality affects it. But what if this principle extends far beyond atoms? Beyond molecules? To stars? To galaxies? To space-time itself? Some of Webb's images appear to shift subtly over time. Structures fade. Reappear. Reshape themselves. Spirals twist. Cores pulse. Patterns emerge, dissolve, and reform in ways no one can fully explain. Is it noise? Or is it something far stranger? Something alive. Something aware. Something responsive. If true, then we are not merely observers. We are participants. Co-authors in a cosmic story billions of years in the making. Entangled with the universe in ways we are only beginning to understand. Every glance, every measurement, every observation, a note in the symphony of creation itself. Webb has not merely revealed the unimaginable. 
It has forced us to imagine beyond every boundary. Beyond time. Beyond space. Beyond creation itself. It has shown us that the universe is not static. It is dynamic. Alive. Constantly unfolding, shaping, and evolving. Perhaps we have not discovered the edge of the universe. Perhaps we have glimpsed its memory. Its earliest thoughts. Its hidden architecture written in the language of light. A story billions of years in the making. A record of creation waiting for someone to see, to witness, to understand. As Webb continues its gaze into the infinite darkness, we are reminded that the universe is not a passive stage. It is a living tapestry of light, matter, energy, and possibility. A story that began before time itself, and continues to invite us forward. To look. To wonder. To marvel. To participate. To join the eternal dance of creation. And in this cosmic dance, we realize, we are not separate from the universe. We are threads woven into its vast, infinite fabric. Every atom of our being, every thought, every gaze, entangled with the stars, the galaxies, the very laws that govern reality. The universe is not only around us. It is within us. Alive, intricate, and waiting. Waiting for the eyes that dare to see. Waiting for the minds that dare to imagine. Waiting for the hearts that dare to feel awe. This is the gift of Webb. Not just images of distant galaxies. Not just light from billions of years ago. But a mirror held up to creation itself. A mirror in which we glimpse not only the cosmos, but the profound, infinite potential within ourselves. And as the golden eye of Webb pierces deeper into darkness, we are reminded, the universe is alive. The universe is eternal. And the story of creation is ours to witness, to cherish, and perhaps, one day, to understand.